voiceover today and I'm showing you my hair, obviously pff, no hair, but I did just want to hop in and say hello and so that y'all can hear my voice and see me speaking. You know what I mean? My name is Nikki Vanteo. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, but you grow and it's up to you. Yeah, I'm really excited to get into this wig. Let's dive in, but hi, how are you? <laughs> Let me stop being childish so and get to the professional things. Let's get to it. Hey friends, y'all know I usually like to start my videos by shaving my hair, but baby, I just did it recently. So I'm gonna just leave it as is. She's all right. <laughs> um, so today, Harry V is sponsoring today's video. Y'all know I love working with them. Harry V is really top three and it's not three and it's not two. I'm gonna be honest with you. This wig is my favorite wig because it's so easy to install and it has minimal shedding. I can't tell you how many times I've worked with wig companies and it's been so much shedding, like get it together, babes. But you see, like I'm combing through it as many times as I can and it was only one little piece of hair that came out. That was it. So this hair came like kind of curly already. So it was already ready to go, but I wanted to style it up a little bit more. They gave you all of this stuff in the pack with it, as well as this true scalp tape so i didn't record myself doing it on this one but i'll include the footage from footage from the last video that i did and you will see how easy it is to make your wigs look super natural especially if you have hair so i'm not gonna lie to y'all i went to the beauty supply store it's been a while since I hit up the beauty supply store for some hair, but I needed like some blonde tracks and I got my mannequin head. If you do not have a mannequin head and you always do wigs, get yourself a mannequin head, get yourself a hot glue gun and don't say nothing about my gun. I know it looks a mess. I know it look a mess. Um, and so I got some tracks from the beauty supply store because I didn't feel like coloring his hair at all i wanted this to be super easy and i am just going to add it in there um i used to use a hot glue gun to make wigs a long time ago but now that we have companies like hair vv we don't have to make the wigs we don't have to do the work <laughs> um and so i just take the the blonde tracks and i take the hot glue gun and i glue it on like an empty space of the wigs and i do it low sort of part by part so i do the first end i do the middle and then i do the last end and i press her in to make sure she's nice and secure i was going for like a little peekaboo moment maybe a little bit more than a peekaboo but a little a little something because y'all know i've been wearing black hair for a long time y'all love that bob that i wore last time by hair vv y'all loved her and i loved her but I just can't do short hair. So I had to, you know, I had to do something else because I needed long hair. Um, and so I ended up cutting off the ends. Uh, you want to make sure that you cut the ends off if it extends out too far to make sure that she stays secure. Because if it's even just a little bit of the track coming off, it will pop off because it's hot glue. Like it's not, it's, it's, you're not sewing it on. This is an easy method. So this didn't take much long at all. Y'all can see that it's just a little peekaboo. I felt like I needed more because this was the inspo that I was going after. So I clipped on some tracks. Um, and then I tried to like style my hair and get a part. When I tell y'all I struggle so much styling hair, like I can, I can put on a wig. I can install a wig down. Okay. Boots, but styling hair, Y'all ask me all the time and I do not, I am not good at styling hair. It takes me too long. I would mess y'all up if I had to style y'all hair, but I, I, you know, I have the patience for myself. I'm not sure y'all would have the patience for me, but do y'all see this lace? It's like, it's so seamless. Look at how my hair looks. This hair comes already pre-bleached, pre-plucked. And I'm telling y'all, like, there are not many companies that come out the pack like this. Like, you don't have to do any work, any work at all on this wig. Um, and so you're just ready to go as soon as you put it on. Y'all can see, like I said, I'm struggling with this wig because I'm trying to figure out how to part. Parting a wig is the hardest part for me. If you are bad at parting your wig, let me know. Let me know that I'm not alone. I am not alone. Part of your wig, part of your hair, whatever it is. I also cannot put on a wig without putting on my makeup. I'm sorry. Sue me. I cannot. I'm going to think that it's ugly. I'm going to think that I look ugly because my face is dry. So it was late at night and I still put on makeup because I had to make sure that I felt like I look good with this wig. Had to make sure that I liked it. And I went on and I started to style the wig because I want to do like a little swoopsy doop. I'm using this um, hairspray on my sideburns and on the swoopsy doop part. Y'all can see what I pulled out. Just a thin amount. And then I went in and I layered my hair. I didn't include footage on that. I'll include some creators that I look at to layer my hair because I'm not good at that at all. It would be embarrassing. Embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? But are you seeing this lace? 
neither am I, babes. Neither am I. The lace is gone. The lace is gone. It's non-existent. This is now coming out of my scalp and you can't tell me otherwise. I'm telling you, baby. So I'm going in and I'm doing my sideburns. You want to make sure that you don't cut a lot. You, you want to make sure that you don't cut a lot of sideburns initially because if you cut too much, you can't ever go back and add on care. And I have messed that up so many times. So cut a little bit and then cut a little bit more if you need to. Um, and then I went in and I did my swoop. I used some hairspray, used my silk therapy to get her nice and shiny. And I also started to curl my hair. I included my curlers in my Amazon storefront if you want to know where I got that from. And I curl away from my face. And in any other instance, I would have used like rollers, like some big rollers to get the va 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 voom look that I was really going for. But like I said, it was in the middle of the night and I was ready to be done. <laughs> I had this makeup on. I ain't had nowhere to go. Y'all know, every. I feel like every time I'm getting ready with y'all, I ain't got nowhere to go. I'm just getting ready with y'all. Y'all are who I'm getting ready for. And that's okay. That is okay. Um, So I curled away from my hair and I use a big, like, what do you call it? wide tooth comb to curl out to comb out my hair you don't want to use like a thin one because you will mess up your curls and she came out cute look at her she doesn't even look like a wig she's look like she looked like a fresh little sewing like look at the swoop de doop hey, i love this hair so much i love working with hair bb because this is such an easy unsaw it did not take long at all if you want to know where i got the wig from and what style and what cut all of that it'll be all linked in my description with a code so make sure you check it out and support your girl. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all later. Love you. Bye.